In this demonstration, we will add the details commonly added throughout the detailed design phase to our model of the midships section. It is time to add structural foundations, non-systems equipment, penetrations, supports and hangers before moving on to the build phase. Before we start modeling, we will activate the task in order to manage and track our changes. First, we will create a major structural foundation for the dry bulk discharge units. What we see here is the Tech Top Deck Planar Group model. We will model the foundation in place here. Using managed datum lines, we can show the locations of frames and longitudinal sections on our deck plate to ensure we align our foundation with the ship's major structure. We'll start by modeling the mounting plate before adding in the webbing. We will set the throw direction and mark side to downwards. Before moving on, we will show the frame and longitudinal datum lines on the plate and use them to outline cutouts in the plate between where our webbing will be located. Next, we'll start modeling the webbing. We'll start by modeling the longitudinal sections. We'll also show the datum line of frames so we can add cutouts in the center of the plate. Next, we'll create the plate parts in the transverse direction. Finally, the plates can be copied to the other frames. The plates running along the frames require weld reliefs. Corner treatments can be added to the plates. You'll notice that the related parts update to include the corner treatments. Once we have completed the foundation, we can mirror all the parts of the foundation to the port side of the ship for the second discharge unit. Next, we'll add non-standard equipment to the model. This stairway we see here has been created as a standard assembly it is made up of common standardized structural parts that will also be used in other standard assemblies throughout the project. We'll open the equipment model containing all the ladders, walkways, and guardrails in the block we are working on. Before making the changes, we will again activate the relevant task. We can show the decks and longitudinal bulkheads that we need to reference when inserting the stairway. We can insert the stairway using the insertion point and rotate it along the relevant axis. Next, we'll add penetrations to the pipework passing through the outboard longitudinal bulkheads. We have been directed here because Clash Manager has identified three clashes between structural parts and pipe parts. We can see here the structure requires a pipe penetration. Penetrations can be individual or grouped and come in a variety of types to add a penetration, we need to first select the structure and then the intersecting pipes. We will select the doubler plate penetration type, and all that remains to be defined is the stock type for the doubler plate itself. In a common workflow, someone else, typically a structural designer, will review the requested penetration and approve, reject, or request rework. Finally, we will add pipe supports and hangers to the pipes running along the deck head of the midships block. Defined in our library are several types of supports and hanger types. You can model several types of supports that are capable of dynamically adjusting dimensions to accommodate changes in the attached pipes. We'll insert a pipe support for the two parallel pipes closest to the aft side of the block We'll select the 2 by N tier support option from our catalog and follow the prompts. The legs of the support need to be extended to intersect with the deck stiffeners. Now that we have defined the primary structure and systems, added structural foundations, non-systems equipment, penetrations, supports and hangers, we are ready to prepare the model for the build phase. For more information, visit www.ssi-corporate.com.